explain to me why I have an odd size nut runner in the tractor. Just glad I got the screwdriver. and welcome back to Warner Farms. Well, I'm down here where Dad's been planting with the sprayer and we're gonna see what we can make happen this morning on this field. All systems go. Working great. Burning down cereal rye. 120 feet at a time. Dad's doing the Zyway across the road. Gonna get that field finished. And he'll move on to that one and he'll move just south of the railroad and work on the last little field over there. All right, first field is officially done with the new sprayer. Worked out really well. I guess when I sent the sprayer file originally and right now I just okay build file should be sent nice thing is with John Deere Operations Center I can wirelessly wirelessly send uh, data so for some reason I did not have this field across the road file received ready for import so let's go here here load and import receive file. Five two. Okay, this is what I want. So this just saves me time from running back to the office, going on the computer, and no flags. Import. And basically taking you know 15, 20 minutes to, well, basically taking a half hour to run back, get a USB, plug into my computer. Files could not be imported. All. is active track. Okay, that makes sense. That's no big deal. Okay. Uh, see if I got my right. Yep, there we go. Got my field. So then I would have to make a setup file, come back, plug in, transfer, then go. Whereas right now it just took me two minutes to do this. So awesome. Absolutely love John Deere Operations Center.
All right, should be good to go for this field. So we're down to one more toe to quadrant and a couple totes of in furrow. And uh, eventually we'll get that in furrow run in there, uh, probably before we move anywhere after today. And uh, we'll just have to figure out acre-wise where we need to go with the quadrant as far as uh, which tanks, how many acres, and this and that. Thank you, Amanda. Then I'll have to bring this big guy back. All right, should be good. So those two bags in that pallet need to come off of there, 720. I need uh, that box in the tender, the green truck hooked up to the tender, and I need, what are those, 28A97s? Yep. I need all of the, uh, one, two, I need that skid down there, and that should cover me. green truck and the seed tender down there. There's two varieties of beans on there. Uh, bag beans go on the last field that I'm planting and what's in the tender right now is what we finished up with on the 30 inch which was 32A87s which go in the first field. We're going to take the tender down there and I'm going to pick dad up and uh, take him back down to the planter. Uh, he got done but there is a hole in one of the airbags on the Air Force downpours on road number five. And I don't know if he's gonna tear into that right now or not. Amanda's got an awards uh, banquet type thing. I think it's just senior class awards this afternoon at three o'clock. So hopefully I have zero issues. I can get going and uh, not grandma's out today. And uh, like I said, just keep inching on forward. I'm playing 21. All right, I'm pretty sure I got the drill all ready to go. Probably have to adjust the slide gates for the population, obviously. And uh, to get that dialed in, tenders down there. Let's go drill some beans. chunk of seed treatment. We are not going to do downstream treating next year. Uh, we are going to get it all from the plant because we've had uh, customers that have had issues and now we're going to have issues. So I'm not too thrilled. Explain to me 
why I have an odd size nut runner in the tractor. That's glad I got the screwdriver. The weird thing is, Grandpa and I were watching when we were putting the beans in, and we only saw a couple chunks, but sometimes you can't always find them all. Except the neighbor back here. <laughs> Punching some Pioneer 32A87s at 160,000 in the ground. Maybe next year I won't be drilling beans and I'll be planting beans in 15 inch rows. I don't know, that's the goal. Maybe. That would be really awesome to get a 15 intro bean planter maybe next year, who knows. It just all depends, it just all depends on yields, markets, where everything falls. Just would be really awesome. That is the goal though, to uh, not have 30 intro beans for side dressing and not have drilled beans and just go all the 15s. That way we've got the option to side dress them and uh, it's a happy medium especially for sunlight capture and uh, weed, weed pressure suppression with a canopy closure. All right, let's double check the beans, make sure I don't need to rake any around. That'll cover me. And that'll cover me. All right, just a couple more rounds on this little point here, and then I can move on to the next little 15 acre field over that way. Bonanza clover. That bonanza clover out there is just the same height as what that cereal rye is, which that cereal rye is pushing over waist high right now out there. That is awesome. That was cover crop that we planted after wheat last uh, late summer, and that looks fantastic. That is where we took the woods out. For those of you that don't know, we took uh, over the course of five, six years, took out 10 acres of woods. That's a six acre patch that we finished up this winter. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching guys.